As you know, this month we are focusing on the LA11 area of Lancaster, right in the historic city centre. You may not know this, but looking around Lancaster, you may see some of the historic buildings, and there's actually over 250 listed buildings just in the city centre postcode alone. I'm currently stood outside the castle and from this point alone you can see 34 different listed buildings. These are usually listed for kind of minor things such as the 12 pane sash windows and some of the fantastic cornicing that you can see and the stonework outside the properties. It's a fantastic historical point in Lancaster. Arguably one of the most impressive and well-known historic buildings in Lancaster is obviously Lancaster Castle. The original parts were built in 1150 and over the many years lots of different parts have been added on to this property. Most recently it has obviously been known as a prison but has recently opened up and been renovated inside and decommissioned as a prison. It's actually built on a former site of Roman ruins and later on we're going to be having a look at some of those. Another very obvious and quite popular feature of Lancaster skyline is the Priory, which you can see just behind me. Now, this was originally built circa 1430, but as with the castle, it's been added to over the years and restored in different areas. It's full of some fantastic features, which gives it its listed status. Many of you may have been to the bathhouse in Lancaster. What you might not know is that this is actually the site of a Roman fort. It was built between AD 71 and 74, and just behind me you can see the Priory. So all the land from here up to the Priory was actually a Roman fort. There's also a Benedictine monastery on this site. So although those buildings are not here anymore, it's still given listed status that many of the Lancaster properties enjoy because of its fantastic historical heritage. Many parts of the Roman fort have now been built over by houses and of course the castle. As we head up Vicarage Fields, you can see looking out over here the remaining parts of where the hills would have been. It's believed the Romans rebuilt this part of the fort at least five times over the years. So some other famous people from Lancaster's history is Waring and Gillow, who are famous cabinet makers in and around Lancaster. Now this building just behind me here um, is one of their offices and workshops, which was built in 1770. It's been given listed status for some fantastic features it has on the outside, but also some wonderful ones they have on the inside. It's also got some historical significance given um, their impact on Lancaster. So located just behind me, as we all well know, is the Corner House and TK Maxx just a little bit further down. However, this building it has got a lot of historical significance. It was originally built in 1901. It was built by the Lancaster and Skirton Equitable Industrial Cooperative Social and is built in the Free Northern Renaissance style. As you can see, there's some fantastic features, one of which I've never noticed in all the time I've lived in Lancaster, is a beehive which is on top of the building. Now the beehive represents thrift and prudence in finance and budgeting, and this was what brought all the shops together and had some fantastic, really fine shops back in those days. Just behind me you'll see the fantastic building formerly known as the Priory. Now this was built as a congressional church in 1879 to mark the centenary of the Independent Chapel, now known as the Trinity United Reformed Church. It's full of fantastic features and from what I've heard it's hopefully under redevelopment soon. Just behind me you'll see the water tower which is another prominent feature of the Lancaster skyline now above the NHS offices. Unfortunately as you can see at the moment it's currently undergoing some renovation but nevertheless it's still very impressive. Now the tower is part of what was once known as a steam powered cotton spinning mill from 1826. A fantastic employer of the area it kept people busy throughout those eras. Not in use anymore it now stands as a fantastic feature looking over the Lancaster skyline. I'm currently in Dalton Square, another one of the fantastic historical hubs of Lancaster. One of the most prominent features, as you all know, is the Queen Victoria statue, which itself is a structure that is protected under the listed building status. Now, Dalton Square itself is full of loads more historical buildings that have got listed status. A lot of them used to be houses from the Victorian times that have loads of the interesting features, such as the sash windows. These days, many of them have been turned into shops, bars and offices as well. 
They also, which I didn't realise until I researched it, was a Roman Catholic church, which over the years became a Palatine Hall and is now being used as offices. Just off Dalton Square, you've also got lots of other historical buildings under the listed scheme. One of the most dominating factors of Dalton Square, as many of you will know, is just behind me, and it is the Town Hall. Now this is full of loads of fantastic historical and architectural features, and also houses the Ashton Hall, which is just behind the Town Hall itself. It's a wonderful piece of architecture and sums up some of the things that you can see in the Lancaster area. So a bit of an unusual one for you is Fibbers. Many of you I'm sure have been here on a night time, but did you know it was actually a grade two listed building? Now the reason for that is it's the last surviving building on James Street. And also it's the last of Lancaster's alleyway inns or pubs as we'd call them these days. So another unusual one that you might not expect to be on the listed building status is WH Smith, which you see just behind me. In 1918, this was built as a cinema and a cafe. It's Lancaster's only surviving purpose-built cinema. Now it's full of some fantastic features which I hadn't noticed until I started this project. As you can probably see, and we'll show you some pictures shortly, you've got Lion's Head, Tuscan Columns, and all sorts of different cartouches. We'll also have a quick look inside because there's some fantastic features that have been left over inside from the times when it was a cinema. So a slightly more obscure listed building you might not know about in Lancaster is this one just behind me, uh, located off of Sun Street. Now this one on the end is number 35 and it's actually only one room deep. We're used to the sort of two up, two downs of Lancaster, but this one only goes back one room, which is a bit of an unusual feature. It's also got some good architectural features uh, such as stone gutters uh, and old windows. However, what's interesting about this one is on a map from 1845, this actually used to be the town clerk's office, which is another reason it's been given its listed status. So that's just a few of the fantastic historical and architectural buildings that we found around Lancaster. I really enjoyed researching this and finding out all these interesting facts. And when you walk around Lancaster and look up, there is so much to see that you don't notice when you're just walking around town normally. The LA11 area is full of really interesting things to look at. So if you see any in and around your travels, let us know. We'd love to see some of your pictures. I've been using the Historic England site to find all these listed buildings. And if you want to find out about any that you see, then go onto their website and have a look at the map and you might be able to find some more information out about properties and buildings near where you live and where you've been exploring. Thanks a lot for watching. 